It was in April 1982 that McDonald's opened its first store in Malaysia. Today, after five years, we have 11 restaurants spanning the nation, from the capital city, Kuala Lumpur, to the world-famous Pearl of the Orient, Penang. We started off with just two restaurants in Kuala Lumpur. In the following year, three more were added, including one restaurant in the township of Petaling Jaya. In 1984, McDonald's expanded to the south of Peninsula Malaysia, opening in Johor Bahru's latest and trendiest shopping complex. Two more restaurants opened in 1985 and another three in 1986. We have now a total of 11 stores. Our last grand opening was in Penang, a thriving tourist attraction. McDonald's Malaysia is expected to have an addition of five stores in 1987, making a total of 16 restaurants by year end. Let us now look at how sales have grown through the years. In 1986, we registered 17.9 million ringgit in sales. This figure is expected to grow to 28 million ringgit in 1987. At McDonald's Malaysia, as it is all over the world, people are our greatest asset. That's why we have made people development our top objective in 1986. Part of this development program includes the hiring of young and dynamic graduates at operations management level. To further motivate our people, we also believe in actively promoting from within the organization. On top of that, Investment in training facilities have assisted us tremendously in our training programs. For instance, team leaders and crew leaders now undergo specially tailored training programs that help them meet the requirements of their job. Malaysians love chicken. Chicken is popular and acceptable because it holds no strict religious prohibitions. So, in March 1986, McDonald's fried chicken, marinated and deep-fried bone-in chicken, was introduced in Malaysia. The introduction of bone-in chicken has also helped make McDonald's a more complete restaurant in terms of appeal to both adults, children and families, because fried chicken, on its own, is a local favourite. Since fried chicken is perceived as a local product, McDonald's, in this instance, is also seen as promoting and helping local industry. Initial product mix was 14.4%, but this has now tapered to an average of 5.4%. As for drinks, sugarcane juice, which is again a local product, was introduced in June 1986. Its product mix is currently 3.7%. At this point, we are working towards the introduction of an egg sandwich called Mac Egg, which comprises a fried egg and a slice of cheese on a toasted regular bun dressed with ketchup and fresh onions. The sandwich will be sold at only 95 cent to appeal to the lower income group. Operation Pride has been launched to enhance and improve the image of McDonald's restaurants in Malaysia. In 1986, we renovated and refurbished five of our stores, thus creating a brighter and more exciting atmosphere. Operation Pride has so far covered our stores in Bukit Bintang, Plaza Yaochuan, Petaling Jaya, Jalan Silang and Dayabumi. Store number three is located at the lower income sector of Kuala Lumpur. The restaurant has suffered huge losses since its inception in 1983. With guidance from McDonald's Corporation, aggressive marketing, improved management incentives and crew benefits, plus concerted LSM efforts, we achieved comparable sales increases of 26.9% in 1985 and a further 12.26% in 1986. 1987 should see sizable improvement in our performance. 
It has been promising to note that our construction costs and buyout costs were reduced by 55% and 36% respectively, making the overall reduction a favourable 46%. These positive break-even figures have been achieved through 1. Better cost control over contracts and supplies through a tender system. 2. Using more locally produced items such as signages, seatings, decor and certain fabricated equipment. 3. Streamlining kitchen equipment to meet our requirements in terms of volume and product mix. 4. Better communications with McDonald's Corporation as well as equipment purchasing, real estate and construction departments. 5. Savings on freight charges and duties. 6. Discounts from bulk buying. Finally, we would like to express our optimism and enthusiasm with regards to our expected progress in Malaysia this year. With cooperation from all parties, results have already started showing. Aggressive advertising on TV, the lowering of construction costs and the addition of new stores in 1987 will undoubtedly help McDonald's Malaysia consolidate its position as a leading restaurant in the country. Together, let's look forward to a great year of tremendous success.